Hello guys, as we know, solution concentration can be expressed using different units. In this video, we are going to focus on mole fraction. So remember that mass can be converted into moles using the molar mass. And because we are talking about a fraction, it is going to have no units and range from zero to one. The mole fraction is expressed using the Greek letter chi, which equals to moles of the component divided by the total moles of all components. Let's do a practice problem. A solution is prepared by dissolving 21.4 grams of magnesium chloride in 325 grams of water. What is the mole fraction of chloride ions in the solution? Well, the easiest way to solve this problem is first figure out the mole fraction of magnesium chloride in the solution. So let's just do that first. So we start with 21.4 grams from here of magnesium chloride, MgCl2, and we are going to convert it into moles, right? So we're going to use the conversion factor where grams are on the bottom moles are on the top and we know that in one mole of MgCl2 we are going to have 95.21 grams and this is simply the molar mass of magnesium chloride. If you do this calculation the grams will cancel out and we are going to get 0 0.225 moles of MgCl2. Okay, let's do the same for the water because we also need the total moles of all components, so we need to take into account the moles of water. We'll start with 325 grams of H2O, multiplying it by the conversion factor. Again, grams of H2O on the bottom, moles of H2O on the top, and in one mole of H2O, we are going to have 18.01 grams. And if you do this calculation, you are going to get 18.05 moles of H2O. Okay, so now we have the moles of the component of magnesium chloride and the moles of water. So let's calculate the mole fraction of magnesium chloride here. So on top, we are going to have 0 0.225 moles of MgCl2. On the bottom we need the total moles, so I take 0 0.225 moles of MgCl2 plus 18.05 moles of H2O. All right, if we do this calculation we are going to get 0 0.1 Two, three. So this is a mole fraction. Remember, it has no units, but this is for MgCl2. So we know that when magnesium chloride actually dissolves in water, it's going to produce Mg2 plus aqueous ions and two moles of Cl minus or chloride ions. So in order to calculate the mole fraction of chloride ions, because for each mole of MgCl2, we have two moles of Cl2 ions, we simply need to multiply this value right here by two. So if you multiply this by two, you are going to get 0 0.246 as your final value for the mole fraction of chloride ions. Okay, I hope this makes sense. See you in the next video.